Hi everyone, my name is Louise. I'm here to show you how to apply Jamboree nail wraps. Uh, I just want to show you how easy it is and that anyone can do it. Um, all you need is a few things that you already probably have at home. Um, one of the things are uh, the uh, nail clipper, a cuticle pusher, tweezer, nail filer, and a pair of scissors. And this cuticle, or this orange stick, sorry, um, if you have it, it's great. If you don't, it's not a big deal. Um, the other thing I, I use is a mini heater from Jamboree. I really love this little heater because it's very powerful and quiet. Um, if you don't have this, you can use a blow dryer. And the reason why we have this is because our nail wraps are heat activated. Um, usually they are in this size here. But see, I've already measured it and I've cut it with a pair of scissors, and that's what your scissors is for. So the tweezer, why we have the orange stick actually is actually for the to lift up the wrap from the backing here. Uh, but I like to use the tweezer because I find that it's much more easier to work with. So what you want to do is see which wrap. Um, fits best on your your nail so you measure it and then you cut it so for me I've already measured my middle finger is the best fit for this this size here and um, I'm just gonna uh, heat it up first because it's heat activated so you want to see it where it's gonna curl or just kind of get a little bit floppy and then you know that's when it's ready And then you just place it on your finger here. Make sure it doesn't touch your skin because you don't want it, uh, your wrap to lift up. So once you've placed it down, you want to use your cuticle pusher. You want to press down and you want to press downwards from the center. And you want to also do that outwards on both your left and your right side. Just make sure that your cuticles are pushed back. There we go. And then I'm just going to heat it some more. Just to bond it a little bit better there. And you want to do this uh, only until you feel that the heat isn't is hot enough for you. And once it's done, You just rub it with your fingers, if you like, with your thumb. Pull on the excess wrap, because you want to make sure that you have um, a little bit of the nail wrap hang over your nail so that you can work with it by pulling on it, taking out the creases, the bubbles. And what I usually do is I would do all my fingers on one hand and leave it like this, and then I do it on the other side. And once it's done, then that's the best time to clip the excess and then file off the remainder part of it. Um, so I'm just creating this video for you just to show you how easy it is. So um, even though I'm not waiting for it to cool down that quickly or to the point where it's best to work with, it's, it's still okay. And this is great because while you're doing it, if you need to go do something, you can go ahead and come back and finish it up. You don't need to worry about it getting smudged or it, uh, getting uh, fingerprints on it, chipping, anything like that. That's why I love it so much. You can come back and you can work with it again. It, it's great. It's, it's very easy. And then I'm just going to clip off the excess here once I find that it's smooth enough. What I want to do is I want to file it on a 45 degree angle. You don't want to do it too hard um, or too fast because you don't want to pull on your wrap. You just want to do it gently. And you'll see that the excess is just 
coming off slowly. There's that little bit of piece here. It's coming off, if you can see. And you just continue to do that. Slowly work with it here. And that's it. And there you go. See? Pretty easy. Anyone can do it. And what I love about this is that it's got over 300 designs. Jamboree has uh, that many different types of nail wraps that you can play around with, make different nail combo combinations, which I love. And I can do this with my daughter as well because it's safe for kids, it's safe for pregnant ladies. Um, it's non-toxic, it's latex-free. It's it's a really good product and I would always recommend just to try it uh, before you have anything to say about it because if you don't try it how would you know and also one other thing I would recommend is that after you're done make sure you put some cuticle oil around so that it keeps your nails healthy and looking healthy and strong and that we're all done so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any comments please uh, uh, let me know and contact me uh, feel free to do so on my website at www.facebook.com forward slash uh, jamming up with Louise or you can visit my uh, Jamboree website at uh, jamming up with Louise.jamboree.com and uh, yeah thank you so much again for watching hope you had a good time and I'll see you next time and on my next video which I will show you how to remove the wrap thanks <laughs>